All right, hey everybody, uh, welcome to another video here, and today I've got an update on my drone. Now, uh, for those unaware, I got a DJI Mavic Pro uh, about a month ago, and I've uh, flown it a bunch and uh, really been enjoying it, getting better at piloting it, and uh, for those thinking of buying one, I highly, highly recommend it, um, because it's amazingly easy to fly, it takes, the camera is fantastic on it, like it's a very, very usable camera, and um, it really it really gives you a chance to get into aerial photography if it's something you've never done before. Um, now, my situation, uh, I, I have a little bit of a, of a, of a tale to share. So, um, and I, I'm gonna, I may make a couple of videos on this as the uh, situation unfolds, but uh, if you couldn't guess uh, from the title, I have crashed my drone. Now, the Mavic has a lot of great features on it to help prevent crashing. Things like obstacle avoidance sensors that are on the front and bottom of the unit, which are on normally by default, but when you put the drone in sport mode, which will allow you to fly up to 40 miles an hour, those sensors are turned off. I don't know why, but they just are. So the other day I was flying around and I had experimented with sport mode while having the drone fairly high up in the air, about 200 feet up. And when you're 200 feet up, as long as there's not another drone pilot flying their drone near you, there's pretty much nothing going to be in your way. Um, so I was in a park and there were trees were only about 30 or 40 feet up. So, I mean, I had plenty of space. So I threw it in sport mode and had the thing just whizzing all around and shot some really great aerial footage. Um, but the other day I was with uh, one of my good friends who also has a Maverick and we were shooting some stuff and I said, you know what? I want to try doing some low level sport mode flying, which for those that are in, that are just getting into Mavic flying or if you have a Mavic, low level and sport mode should never be in the same sentence because I had my drone in sport mode. I was flying it about that high off the ground, which is low. And of course, uh, being that it was moving very quickly, I got some cool low level shots until I slid into a tree or drifted into a tree. Um, yeah, so I crashed it. I totally admit that it was user error, it was my fault, and uh, the the drone would still fly, and I was able to fly it around, I just had absolutely no camera activity. The, the gimbal was not responding to any input from the controller, and the camera wasn't shooting any video, so not really very useful as a camera drone. So I started the repair process with DJI, which basically consisted of going on their website, which is not easy to navigate, I will say. But I went on their website and I found out where to start the process to create a case. So I created a case and I did that, I don't know, eight or nine o'clock at night. And then by eight o'clock the next morning, I had a UPS label emailed to me to ship my drone back to DJI. So cool. All right. So this is moving, moving right along. And uh, I had been emailing back and forth with someone at DJI and, and their, their response time is not very fast. It, it seemed to be hit or miss, but for the most part, it was not very fast. I was getting responses every now and then I might get a response within an hour, but it would only be once. And then I would reply to that and I wouldn't hear again until the next day. So it's really hit or miss. Um, and I basically emailed asking kind of what the process looks like and they were asking me to send video of the issue I was having with the drone and take pictures of it and I mean kind of asking me to do my own self-assessment of the of the drone before sending it back and I mean I already described what the issue was but they wanted to see it so no problem I went over to the tennis courts in my apartment complex here with my 5D and I shot some video footage of the issue uh, that I was having and um, you know, I sent it to them as a Dropbox link and I sent them high resolution photos that I took as well so I sent them everything they needed I basically heard back saying yeah send it in you know and, and 
I don't even know if they looked at it. They just said, thank you for submitting that. Based on what you said, it sounds like it's a mechanical problem. You can send it in. So I don't even know if they looked at my uh, submissions, but whatever. Anyway, uh, I dropped off the drone, and it, was, it shipped out um, last Monday and was delivered to DJI in California on Thursday, uh, whatever last Thursday was. So it'll be a week tomorrow. And according to their website, it takes them one working day. And this is listed on, I forget where I saw this, but at one place it says, uh, it's a, in, the, in the repair status, it says allow one working day for them to update the status on your, on your repair order. So my repair order currently, if it says awaiting receipt of the product. So according to UPS, it was delivered last Thursday. And according to DJI, it says it takes one working day for them to update the status of the repair. Somewhere else on DJI's website, it says, please allow one to two working days since receipt of the, of the unit to, to mark it as received and to bring it into damage assessment or whatever that next phase is. So right there, two different estimates for when I should see anything. Um, but if you can guess, I haven't seen anything. According to the case, DJI still has not received my drone yet. According to UPS, they dropped it off at DJI's dock last Thursday. So there's a disconnect there. So I said, okay, maybe they're backlogged because they are the one repair center for all of North America. And of course, drones are now becoming extremely popular. So needless to say, they're busy. I get it but they should take that into account when it comes to communication between their receiving department and their cases and their customers. Or they're gonna get people like me wanting to know what the hell's going on. And I don't think I am the only one who has sent in a drone for repair and not seen any updates and wants to know what's going on. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna, I'll create a few more videos sort of as the progress goes on. Uh, so feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to follow that along. So as of today, Wednesday, March 22nd, DJI has not said anything to me. So I decided to reach out to them and ask for a status update. And I called on the phone and was I started out at number 21 on the queue. And then I was looking around and I found out I could do chat support. So I did chat support with... Uh, someone there I'm not gonna name who it was but um, they're not very cordial maybe it's because they have a high volume of people and they're dealing with people that are probably a lot less professional than I am when it comes to behavior and when it comes to conducting themselves with uh, you know a support advisor you know I've been working in tech support for a long time so I understand what it's like to have to talk to customers some of which who are probably a little noticeably miffed so I, w I remain professional but adamant that I wanted an answer and I said uh, you know I explained the situation I said here's my case number and according to UPS it was delivered and I explained the whole situation and basically got the a response kind of a canned dancing around the situation response where all he said was I'll make a note that you're asking about the case but please wait and that's all that's pretty much all he said and I said okay well I mean that's all I can do all I can do is wait but do you have any estimate? Maybe can you tell me how many repairs are ahead of me in the queue or how many cases are ahead of me? Couldn't get anything like that. So as a customer, I don't feel like the company really cares about my satisfaction because they don't seem to, they don't want to keep me informed. They just want to, you know, churn out drones and hope they don't come back. You know, I don't know. So <clears throat> at this point, it's a crapshoot. I have no idea when I'm going to hear anything. I have no idea when I'll see any movement on the case. But I'll post update videos and let you guys know so you can follow along with me. One thing I'm going to recommend to you, though, aside from getting the DJI Care Refresh plan, which is sort of like their warranty, extended warranty, go to your insurance company. See if you can get a policy where you can cover this personal article, we'll just say. Um, and take out a special insurance policy just on this item because it's certainly it's an item of value and if the item goes lost your uh, 
your warranty is not going to cover a lost drone. So it may be advantageous to have something that's that runs longer than the uh, warranty that is provided by the company or the even the extended warranty it may be advantageous to have some sort of an insurance policy available to you as well in case you need to file a claim for that reason that's about it so I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, stay tuned for more updates on where my drone is at in its repair or replacement progress